just a short video to demonstrate the offload of a Marquee Spars Kona uh, or any swim spa in fact but this is quite a large one off a flatbed trailer where we can drive up to the base. We would make sure that the base uh, is level here for us to uh, reverse onto and it's of sufficient thickness. When we've loaded this swim spa in the yard, uh, we've loaded it onto fencing posts all the way around and then strapped over. To start off with, we had three straps and the fencing posts then uh, act as uh, our rolling beams, okay? And all we then do is we release these straps, okay? Three straps we started off with uh, slightly, made sure that the parking brake was on properly and we've pushed the load back so it's overhanging at the ends. We then restrap the load back on so it's secure and we place two skates under each side. Currently the guys are just removing the packaging that lips underneath because it's easier to move that packaging now whilst we've got the load safely suspended than it is to try and, and pull the packaging out with a, with a jack uh, at a later date and potentially pinching the plastic. So the guys are just releasing that now, as you can see. It also gives us a good view of making sure we're landing the bottom of the swim spa on the skates. And these are heavy duty spa, uh, spa dolly extreme casters that we're using for that. Once we're ready and uh, to go with that, we are then gonna place a block of wood down the back to stop the skates from skidding out. Parking brake will be applied and the ratchets are se tightly secured. We're then gonna pump up the trailer so it, it tilts back with that end landing onto the skates at the back. Once that's the weight is transferred onto the back there, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly release the ratchet straps uh, one at a time, making sure that the load doesn't shift. With a level base, it shouldn't shift rearwards. It should, all the weight should transfer onto the skates. Make sure they are the heavy duty Spar Dolly Extreme casters, not standard hot tub ones. Once we've got then into that position where the load has transferred the weight to the skates, we're then gonna slowly pull forward, making sure that you've already cleared the route and ideally the trailer should pull straight forward, not out at an angle. As we do that, then the, the spa will stay where it is and the trailer will move out until we have roughly around about a quarter of the swim spa left onto the back. As we're doing that, some of these rolling beams will fall out, don't worry about that. Once we've got the load transferred to the rear part, uh, once we've pulled forward and we have maybe just this part on the edge of the uh, trailer there, then we'll be placing the swim spa log underneath to lift the load clear of the trailer to allow the trailer to be pulled clear. We're gonna put two skates in either side and then lower the, the lifting log down so the swim spa is sat on four extreme casters. At that point, then all we need to do is move it to the position, it, uh, its final position, measuring out to make sure it's central on the base. And then each end at a time, we're gonna lower one end and then the other. On this particular model, the heaviest end is at this end. So that's the, that's the end that we are gonna actually lift off first and land on the ground, leaving the, last, the, the lighter end as the last end that we jack up to lift down. Okay, so what we're doing now is we're just applying some pressure there. These straps are very, very tight. There will be some shift in the load, but only to the point where the, the straps further tighten. Callum is just providing a little bit of stability and support to stop that. And if any time the load shifts, then Callum can stop the lift of the, of the spa. So we're just pumping. Still fine, mate. Pumping up, good communication between the guys. We're currently doing this during the COVID-19 lockdown or just at the end of the lockdown, hence why the guys are wearing their masks and gloves to stay safe. On the skates, mate. Okay, so we're just landed onto the skates now. Okay, just keep going a little bit more of a pump, please. Keep pumping. Okay, and stop there. Okay, and you can take that one off altogether. Okay, so we've uh, now grounded on this side and we've released just one of the two straps. 
okay the load will just move back a little bit but this back strap here is tightening that for us and for the next part we are going to just take a little bit of the trailer edge off so the weight isn't gone too far there and then we're going to start driving forward a little bit and it should drag the load should drag the trailer out a little bit we'll just loosen this strap slightly as we do that okay so what we're going to do now is we've just released the tension to transfer the weight onto the back callum is just there for a little bit of stability just to hold it in place and we've loosened this strap but not taking it off we're just going to move forward very gently in a nice straight line that's fine don't worry about the poles coming out that's good hold it there handbrake on okay so what we've noticed there is all the poles that are in the middle have all rolled out that's a good sign because that's telling us that the weight has now transferred over and the weight is coming off there the only weight that we should now have is on the end here and what we're going to do now is release that strap as the load comes down a little bit and we can take a little bit of uh, tilt off the trailer and reinstert so a couple of the, those rollers further up and then, then we're ready for the final uh, removal of the trailer okay so we've just released the final strap now that the weight has gone over there we've taken a little bit of the tilt off we don't want too much tilt because that's going to force the load there so we've taken the tilt off so the trailer is parallel with the load as it is and we've put in two extra posts because as we move forward these posts end posts here may roll out they may go with the load or they may roll out and we've got two sets of posts either side okay ready to move forward that's it a couple of the posts will come out okay that's good okay hold it there handbrake on so what we've done now is just take a bit more of the tilt off the trailer and inserted a couple more logs further back so as we move forward the first logs will just roll out but the weight transfers onto the second ones ready Matt yeah. move forward okay hold it there okay so once again we've just taken a little bit more tilt off the trailer reinserted some logs further down Matt when you're ready pull forward a hold of that that's good okay so we're virtually off the load now okay so what we're doing now is we've inserted the spa dolly swim spa log underneath the load and we are currently using just a shop vac or wet vac in blower mode to blow that up you can use a hot tub uh, spa blower air blower to do that same job the shop vac's fine so we're just pumping it up we do not we don't need to we could if we wanted to pump this up and so we're at the final stages now so we're just inflating the spa dolly uh, swim spa log now we don't need to inflate this very high we just need to take a little bit of the pressure and the weight off that and uh, then what we're going to do is tilt do a final tilt of the trailer to take the trailer away from the load rather than the load away from the trailer we don't want to create too much angle and put the pressure onto the back and then once we've got some pressure in there and we've tilted that back trailer then we're going to start then with the final extraction of the trailer and move it out not going anymore okay that's fine shut that off so that's weight transferred there now so final pump up of the trailer just to take the uh, angle take the trailer away from the load making sure the area is clear yep pump it up and we can see the trailer just coming away from the load that's fine yep and then we're going to pull forward 
nice and gently. The last uh, row of um, of uh, the logs, uh, rolling logs, will pop out the front, so there'll be a slight transference of weight there. Callum, are you ready? Pressure on. Okay, three, two, one, go. Keep going, 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 and you're clear. Stop there. As you can see there, the airbag there is taking the load. So you can turn off there, jump out, and the final thing we're going to do is get two more uh, Spardoni Extreme Casters and place them under this end. Taking away the packaging first before we do that, so we don't trap the packaging, then we will lower the uh, swim spar log, so then the swim spar is sat on the casters. Okay, so what we've done now is we've put two more swim, uh, spa dolly swim spar extreme casters under the end. We've ensured that packaging has been removed from underneath, so we're not trapping it, and we are lowering the swim spar wedge, or the swim spar lock. Keep going. All the way down, yeah, fully open. So that means then if there's no more air coming out, then that means we've transferred all the weight now onto the four swim spar casters. So we're gonna take all the air out of that. To get the air out a little bit quicker, what you can do is you can put the vacuum onto suction and place the hose of the vacuum into the swim spar log and suck the air out if you haven't got as much space as what we have here. And here we should just be able to slide this out. Um, but if you do get to the point where you may be only putting on a few blocks, then suck the remaining air out to be able to slide that out. And that can be slid out either way.